All right, here is part two, where I actually fuse this Maxima wet dry sharpener. And hey, I sharpened myself a beautiful Santuco knife. You know what? I think I did a pretty good job, but uh, you be the judge. And uh, hope you learned something today because I did. Stay safe and stay tuned. <music>
So it's going to be not too long for the rest of the bird comes along. Yes, you want to be very careful. Now this machine here is not so not so fast that if you're a little bit off that you're gonna just like a like a really super high speed machine, but you can mar a face really really quick by just a moment of indetention. And that's what I did on the tip here. I put it ever so slightly of a mark that I probably could stand out in a bit, but that means just you just gotta be careful. That's all. Love sharpening knives on a Friday. Okay, so now we're developing a burr here. And boy, oh boy, does it ever put a big burr here. And you know what, like I'm putting some moderate uh, moderate pressure. Right. Almost got the first complete bird. Just at the end. No bird at the end. No, I have not taken my drugs today, but I did. Took my drugs because I got up. It just sucks I got to take drugs. All right, so we've got our burr all the way across. Now we flip over to the other side. Now let's give it a go on that side. Oh, she's putting a nice, nice beveled edge on here. Boy, not only does it, uh, is it going to sharp, cut like a beast, it's going to look nice too. Sometimes it's almost better to look good than it is to be good, right? Right, all you good looking folks out there? I guess that's somebody sending me an email. So my penis enlarger is on the way. <laughs> I don't know why I'm such a wackadoo here this second. Here, oh, she's looking pretty horrific. All right, we've got to do just a little bit more on the, the front. Oh, she almost got away on me there, guys. Stupid me. Stupid me. Doesn't take long. She's beveling up big time at the front there. Man, oh man. Got a burr built up all the way. Holy cow. 
Am I ever terrible on this machine on the edges? Or not the edges, the points. There we go. She's burned up right across the whole thing here. So, as you can see, she's put a really nice bevel right across the whole thing. Got a little bit fat here on the, the, the ankle or the heel. I'm going to have to adjust my, uh, my uh, technique to see what we can do to fix that. A little bit of practice. So I'm practicing with my own knives, not my a customer's knives as, as I start my sharpening business. I don't know if I'm gonna call it a bit, I don't know what. All right, let's do a little bit of getting rid of the burr. This burr is pretty damn tough. Because not only is it seems like it's it seems like it's shaving off some of this leather. So now I just wonder. Oh my goodness, that's sharp. Man, oh man, you can sure see, see the, you can sure see the bevel with the naked eye, or not the bevel, but the, the wire edge, the burr. I've got her pretty straightened out. So now what I think I'm going to do is, excuse me for a second, in one of these drawers, I have got a homemade strop that I've used. Ugh. And going to run it through the edge here a little bit. See if I can pull off a little bit more of that wire edge. Yes, I have. Boy, she's pretty jagged. I'm just going to give her a little bit more of a polish here. So now if you've got weakened metal on the end here and you leave that wire edge behind without doing anything about it, what happens is the minute you kind of cut into something, it will fold that burr over and it will dull the knife again right off the bat you'll make a couple of cuts and that that'll be about it oh she's cutting right through yells are that sharp oh she's doing a pretty good job folks just the heel and the tip i'm gonna have to work on i think Clean that off. Let's do a couple on here, a couple of hand straps. I put some compound right on the side. Um, it seems like I always do my first kind of real hard straps on that side. And it seems like that does a, a really good job. And I've just got some really, uh, I got some black compound on here. I, I, I like using black compound in my kitchen knives like this because lots of times I can go in and I can just strop that knife right back to being sharp. And it's got the heavy, heavy grit. Uh, I, I very rarely take my kitchen knives into that kind of super mirror polished edge, which is why I think this is gonna be so good for kitchen knives. And the reason I don't necessarily take my kitchen knives into a uh, super mirror polished edge is I don't have, oh, excuse me, my foot's bugging me. I don't have, uh, I mean, these have got a decent steel in it, but I think if you've got some kitchen knives with some wicked, wicked steel in it, they uh, will hold that edge for a really, really long time. And if you've got a mirror polished edge, 
it's a lot of work to get there. And it's a lot of work to keep on keeping it sharp at Amir Polish Edge, at least my experience. So, plus I like the ability to have a tiny bit of little bit of uh, those micro kind of teeth in the edge of your blade. So when you're sawing into um, stuff, it has almost like a little serrated effect into it at a microscopic level. I, I seem to like that. Boy, oh boy, she's sharp. Okay, so we've got there. How do you like that? Uh, she's right through. Right to the right to the end. Extremely sharp. Oh, I've got some gunk on the edge here. Try to wipe that off. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. There. A little bit of sharpening compound on the edge that's taken off. Thank you so much for stopping by, folks. Have a look at my uh, sharpener. Have a look at my sharpened. If you like what you saw, please, please uh, give me a thumbs up as well as subscription. Appreciate it so much. I'm getting the hang of this uh, YouTube and all by myself. It's kind of tough here. So, you know, practice makes perfect with these camera angles and things like that. But in the meantime, thanks so much for stopping by. want you guys to please, please stay safe. Keep your stick on the ice. This is the Big Canucker. Saying adios. Oh. I'm back. I just gotta, I better quickly show you the sedge here, right? Eh? There.